For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So when my husband and I came to the Billy Graham Library and got to pay respects to Billy Graham and the life and legacy that he left, is alive. keeping in mind all of the lives that he's impacted. God says, I love you. I love you. I love you with an everlasting love. The thing that first hit me was the voice is God. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And now that he's gone, it's, it's you guys. We're still here. What's beautiful about the ministry of Billy Graham is that it, it absolutely is so laser focused on the message of the cross. And, and it's beautiful. I'm sorry, I don't know. But we're sitting here when he gets to go see his savior and his whole life, his whole life was always speaking about the cross, speaking about his Lord. And to me, it's just all he wanted was everyone to know because we have this opportunity while we have breath in our lungs to turn and come to salvation and know what our life was made for, to be light in the dark. And in the scriptures, it says to follow the example of those that have God before us and taught us all these things. And that to me is a big responsibility and a really important thing to pick up and carry as he goes home to our Lord, we're still here with a chance to speak about the cross, to speak about what Jesus did, to speak about the fact that our sins can be forgiven. We don't have to carry that weight in us. When I got to be a part of the Billy Graham ministry on his 95th birthday, and, and, um, <laughs> and I got to tell how Jesus rescued me from suicide. There's a song that I sing called Mercy Tree, and when the whole world is speaking lies and you feel like overwhelmed with death or you feel like you see it everywhere, that you just say in the, at the foot of the cross, you say it in the face of the resurrection of Jesus. You say, death has died, love has won, and hallelujah, you praise God in the midst of all of it. This is the most important thing that we can say that there is salvation for your soul and you can be with God, your creator, forever. We receive our freedom purchased by the ransom at the cross. Jesus Christ from the cross says, I will save you. I will forgive you. I will change you. I'll make you a new person if you come to the cross by repentance and faith. Come to Christ.